So when it gets cold, my tea also gets cold, and I'd really like to fix that. Here's my teapot. I'm going to make a cozy for it. So I specifically want to be able to get into the teapot while the cozy is on. A lot of the sewn cozies I've seen are just sort of large hats that go over the whole pot. And I'd like to be able to brew my tea while it's still in the cozy without the bother of taking it on and off. I have seen a lot of knitted cozies that are open at the top, and they tend to be just a circle for the bottom and two rectangles for the sides. So I'm going to see if I can adapt this into a sewn pattern. Here I've drawn out a circle approximately the size of the bottom of my teapot. I've added just a little bit to make sure that there's enough ease. I'm adding a seam allowance so that when I sew on the sides, it'll all come together nicely. Here's the finished pattern piece. Here I'm working out the dimensions I'll need for the sides of my tea cozy. I want them to be two rectangles, but I have to make them just a little bit longer than the measurement from the spout to the handle of the teapot and just a little bit taller than the actual teapot to account for the curvature of the shape. And as you can see, I've already made a mistake or two. And here's our finished pattern. As you can see, it's very simple, just a circle for the bottom and a rectangle for the sides. I had a ton of green flannel left over from a different project, so that's what I used for the muslin. As you can see, it took a lot of pins to get everything to line up properly. Here's how it went together at the end. And here it is on the teapot. As you can see, it's a little bit small at the right-hand side, so I had to adjust it slightly. So here I'm tracing and then cutting out the bottom pieces for the tea cozy. This is an old sweater that got pretty worn out, and so I ended up felting it. And here are all the pieces in the outer fabric that wool. The inner fabric is made from some flannel I had left over from a different project. I thought the plaid was really nice and bright against the blue of the sweater. And I'm cutting it on the bias here just so it stretches a little better around the curvature of the teapot. That's my theory anyway. And here are all the pieces for the cozy cut out and ready to be assembled. So here I have folded down the top edge of both the lining pieces twice and ironed them in place so that any raw edges will be enclosed once we finally stitch everything together. So here's how the sides of the tea cozy will all go together. I haven't pinned these yet, but I'm about to, and then I'll just sew down both sides to hold everything together. So I've stitched down both sides of these two rectangles, and then I've turned them inside out to top stitch everything down for a clean finish. And then I'm just going to fold down the blue wool at the top to create a channel for the drawstring. Unfortunately, I didn't get a great shot of this, but as you can see, because sewing curves is tricky, I've used a lot of pins to keep everything in place. And this is how it looks once the bottom has been sewn down from the inside. Um, I haven't done the outside yet because we want all of those raw edges to be sandwiched in between the two layers of the bottom. And we're just going to clip these corners so that everything lies nice and flat. 
But first, let's try it on the teapot. Looks like it works. And now the corners have been clipped. So now I'm just using the thread as a guide for folding under the edges of the bottom of the tea cozy. This isn't the best shot, but here's this tea cozy and the teapot. Everything's assembled except for the very bottom piece. And I just whoop stitched that down. And here we have the finished tea cozy. I'm not sure what I think about the black ribbon, but I'm really happy with everything else. So let's look back at the muslin. As you can see, there's some gapping around the lid, and so adding a bit of extra height to the sides really helped. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. From a functional standpoint, it works just as I wanted it to. From an aesthetic standpoint, I think it's super cute. And from a sentimental standpoint, I gave my old favorite sweater a new life. So why wouldn't I be happy about that? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.